Hi, this is Dr. Diana, owner of Mobile Science Education Consulting Services, recording live in Cocoa Beach, Florida, home of Kennedy Space Center. I thought in light of all the breaking news about the female astronaut who drove from Houston, Texas to Orlando, Florida, this would be a good time to give you some basics on the chemistry of disposable diapers. Now the astronaut was really putting her training to good use when she wore the disposable diapers. NASA incorporated disposable diapers into their space program in the late 1980s. Their disposable diapers were called MAG, which stands for Maximum Absorbent Garment. Now, disposable diapers are made up of sodium polyacrylate, which is a polymer. And sodium polyacrylate happens to be hydrophilic, meaning it's water-loving. Let's just see how much water these diapers can hold. I've got about 500 milliliters here. Well, you get the idea. They can hold quite a bit of water. Now, let's say you want to see what's actually inside of the disposable diapers. You can take a disposable diaper, cut it open, and take out the contents. You can put it into a clear container, give it some shakes. You might want to wear a productive, protective nose mask while you're at it. And when you open it up after a few moments, you're going to see the sodium polyacrylate crystals in the bottom of the container. Those are the same crystals that are in the disposable diapers. Now let's just see what happens when we subject the sodium polyacrylate crystals to water. Here is the sodium polyacrylate crystals in their dry state. And now we're going to add some water. We're going to hydrate them. And as you can see, those crystals are growing. Sodium polyacrylate has the ability to expand four to eight hundred times its weight. That's incredible. My goodness, look at the depth of that. So imagine when you're wearing those diapers, that's what happens. All that water goes into the sodium polyacrylate crystals and it absorbs that moisture. Now other examples of common polymers seen on the market today are your grow creatures, which can be found at department stores. Grow creatures contain two polymers, polyvinyl acetate and polyacrylamide. The polyvinyl acetate is a polymer that allows the grow heat creature to keep its shape. The polyacrylamide is what is called the super absorber. I have a mermaid here, a grow creature that you can find at your local department store. It's approximately two and a half inches. Here's a grow creature that has been soaking in water for about 24 hours and it is almost four inches in length and it has tripled its diameter in size. And I'm going to place her right back into the water. So your grow creatures are also made up of polymers. Additional polymers that you can find are polyacrylamide crystals, which are found in many nurseries. They're used in the agricultural industry. Here we have some polyacrylamide crystals in their solid state. And then we're going to just subject them to water. We're going to hydrate them. And after a few moments, those solid crystals, which were hydrated, will turn into these gel-like crystals. They are also a polymer, not as a super absorber as their sodium polyacrylate, but just as well, they're able to absorb a great deal more of their weight in water. Another polymer found on the market is the palmer that makes up super snow, which is often used in movie sets as fake snow. Um, if you ever go to a snow event, that may be what they're using. So we have the super snow crystals in their dry state, and we're going to add water to the super snow crystals, another type of polymer. We're hydrating them now with water, H2O. And we'll give it a little stir here. A little bit of agitation. And after a few moments, your super snow crystals have begun to expand. Again, another example of a polymer that has the ability to obtain great amounts of water. Now let's say you have your disposable diaper set aside that you've cut open and you want to do something with those crystals. 
You can take the sodium polyacrylate crystals from the container, you can add them to water and make a solution, subject them to heat. Then you can make a second mixture of borax solution with borax and water. You can combine the two of them, your sodium polyacrylate crystals and the borax solution, combine the two of them together to make your own homemade slime from the crystals that came from the disposable diaper. So this is your poly, this is your polyacrylate here and we're adding the borax solution, which is going to be our cross linker. Imagine paper clips as cross linkers. And we're going to give it a little stir. And we're going to have some homemade slime. Which is not quite liquid and not quite a solid. And there you go. And so imagine it's pretty much similar to what you would have in a diaper. And that is your homemade slime from sodium polyacrylate crystals and a borax solution. Well, you know, that's about all the time we have for today. And I think I have a trip scheduled in Washington, D.C. And I don't want to be late. I better grab a diaper. See you later. Did you stop it? <laughs>